kangaroo's pouch is far more complex than you may think. It produces custom milk and antimicrobial sweat. A kangaroo pouch may look like a simple pocket, but it's actually a complex nursery that contains everything a growing Joey needs. The pouch is hairless on the inside and is lined with sweat glands that release antimicrobial liquid to keep the Joey safe from germs. It also has built-in nipples that release customized milk for every stage of the Joey's development. At first glance, a kangaroo's pouch looks like nothing but a building baby sling, but if you peeked inside, You'd see it's far more complex than a simple pocket. It has to be, because the joey inside is not your average baby. An adult male red kangaroo can stand over one and a half meters tall and weigh 90 kilograms. That's larger than a grown man. But the newborns start out the size of jelly beans. They're blind, deaf, and hairless to boot. After all, they only spend 33 days inside their mom before birth. That's like a human having a baby when she's two months pregnant. So the underdeveloped root isn't ready to face the harsh Australian wilderness. That's where the pouch comes in. It's a pocket of skin that acts like a second womb, giving the joey a safe, cozy environment to grow. And, like a pregnant belly, the pouch can stretch to fit the baby as it gets bigger. It's lined with powerful, but flexible, muscles and ligaments. To keep the joey safe, mom can tighten those muscles to shut the pouch flush against her body. Just like pulling a drawstring bag closed. And it will need the extra space, because over the course of 8 months, that bean-sized baby will reach the size of a large house cat. That's thousands of times its birth weight. That rapid growth is thanks to the pouches for nipples, which spout milk that contains germ-fighting antibodies to keep the little roo from getting sick. Another special feature about the kangaroo pouch is that it's lined with sweat glands that release antimicrobial substances, which help protect the baby roos from harmful viruses, bacteria, and parasites. But there's one more way that pouches design keeps the joey safe. It's totally hairless, and that skin-to-skin -skin contact keeps the baby warm and cozy, basically. It's the ultimate nursery. But nothing lasts forever. Eventually, the Joey will need to leave the pouch. At about five months old, it pokes its head out. And a month later, it takes its first tentative steps into the world. There, it will explore for a few short seconds before hightailing it home. But as it gets older and bolder, it stays out longer, until 8 months in it's ready to leave the nest we well, go. the pouch, for good. If you like this video please give me a like and leave comment. And please subscribe and press the notification bell for more updated videos about animals. Thanks for watching.